Hi friends, welcome to Art Tutorials. Today we will learn about how to build Angular applications using the command line interface, that's the Angular CLI. In this tutorial, you will learn how to, at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to build any Angular application, no matter if you are just starting out or if you have an existing Angular application, the tutorial that you will learn in this episode is still valid. This is part of the full Angular tutorial series that we are bringing to you. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you need any advice, any technical query that you have, any doubts, please feel free to drop in in the comments and I will be happy to help you for free. Let's get started. So as part of Angular CLI in some of the previous episodes, we have seen that using the Angular CLI command line interface, we were able to generate modules, component, services, interfaces, pipes, etc. Today we will extend that knowledge by using a new command which is ng-build. ng-build is used to, to build the Angular applications. As we know, Angular applications are written in TypeScript, which means when we build the Angular application, it would compile that code into native JavaScript code. That's transpiling. So we would be we need to do that in order to deploy our Angular applications. In most real-time cases, we have to deploy it into production environment. For that, we need to set the flag as hyphen hyphen prod equal to true. This would do a lot of stuff in the background to make it optimized code so that when the output comes, it can be easily optimized for your production environment. We will see that in just a bit. We can also set ahead of time compilation option using AOT equal to true. By default, it is set to false. You can similarly configure the cross origin request also by passing another option, which is hyphen hyphen cross origin. We, at most times, the base URL need not to be always dot index dot HTML. We can also configure it by passing an option hyphen hyphen base href. We can configure the output path that we want to use that for deployment. Usually it will be the dist folder of the Angular application, but we can always specify our own configuration by setting hyphen hyphen output path. That was all about the theoretical background. As always, if you have any questions, doubts, please put it in the comments. I will be happy to clarify them. Now let's get started and start the practical hands-on exercise. We'll be continuing to build using our Agile board project that we are using as part of our Angular series. And here we will show you how to build the app using ng-build command. So the command to build any application, like I said, it doesn't matter if you are starting a new application or an existing one, the command remains same. It is valid for Angular 6, 7, 8, 4, 2, all these versions are compatible. The command is still the same. So go ahead and type ng build. This is the command we will provide. So it may take a minute to do so. And once it is done, I want to, I want you to see that there will be a new folder here. I will show you that in just a bit. And we should be see, uh, seeing our output directory. In the meanwhile, friends, while it is building, I suggest you please subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me so I can bring you free te technical tutorials. All right, so bundling is done and it is spitting out the ES5 output. You can see here, there is a folder which says dist and agile board, and it has all the files that we need to run. So when we say we are deploying the application, this is the main folder that we work with we take the folder as it is and deploy it into our server. It's almost done. Let it, we'll give another minute for it, for differential loading. All right, so it says ES5 bundle generation complete, which means we can just take this output file as it is and put it in our Apple, in our server. You have the index file, it knows the reference and we should be good to start. And this is as good as deploying your Angular application into any server. Usually, I'll cover that as part of the last episodes. 
in maybe in the down the line once we have completed our application for now the important thing to note is we have used ng build to generate the output of our application and it will be generated by default in the dist folder and this is the output files the js files that it has converted into let's use some more options to extend it i'm clicking on index.html file you would see the base href we can always configure that you are seeing that the default folder name is dist we can configure that as well let's quickly see that as well and if you are doing a production build which you want to deploy into production environment you will add the options prod equal to true so this would give you an optimized minimized version of everything so we can try that and as well as that i'm also going to use some more parameters i'm saying output path which is for directory name the directory name i want is agile bow let's say just give it agile bow and i'm saying we can see here base href is just slash by default i'm saying i want the base href the base href should be equal to i'm saying test.html so now we should see test.html as our base href we should see the output directory as agile bo and it i'm putting the flag as hyphen hyphen prod equal to true let's run this code so once you run this command we should see our output generated again keep an eye here If you want to check other Angular CLI tutorials, don't forget to check out our previous videos that we have posted. Really cool, simple, straightforward, practical tutorials for you for free of cost. It's almost, we are almost there. So one of the questions I am asked always during interviews, mostly people ask in interviews is, can you pass these many options? What are the options you can pass along with ng build? So these are some of the options you can pass. You can also pass the port number. All right, so you can see here, we have a brand new directory called agile bo. That's what we had mentioned here as part of our output. And it's production ready. And the base ref should be test.html. Let's ex expand this, go to HTML, and you would see that base href is now test.html, the same that we passed as part of our command option. Yeah. Right? And if you see the output directory name is agile PO, and if you see the number of files are less, that's because we have used hyphen hyphen prod equal to true option. So this is how you build any. Uh, applica Angular application, the output you take it and put it in your server, which is as good as live production ready and application. That's all about uh, the Angular CLI build tool. Do let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any technical questions, queries, feel free to drop it in the comments. I will be happy to help you and provide you free advice. In the next tutorial, I'll be covering CLI serve, Angular CLI serve, which serves in different purposes of starting and running the application. Don't forget to tune into that tutorial. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you in other episodes. Thank you.